What's going on? Today I want to talk a little bit about the MoTeX systems and, and the dashes, uh, the internal G sensors, right? I had to help a, uh, a team over this weekend that had some um, offset axis. Their, their G forces were not correct. They, the, the channel names were a little off, so to speak, and they were, they were kind of pulling their hair out trying to figure out what's going on with the G forces. Well, I wanted to bring up the fact that there, these G-Force sensors are expecting the, essentially, if this is the dash, they're expecting the dash to be mounted like front center, completely, completely straight, right? No skewing, no, no, no offset, none, no, none of this, right? They want it to be dead. But uh, I know for most applications, they're not 100% true, right? And if you're off by a couple degrees, it really isn't going to actually make a difference in your energy your value. But if you have it like tilted 15 degrees in one direction, that can, right? And then, or five degrees and five degrees, you, you, you truly can have a difference there. And we're going to go over that. Um, essentially, it's cosine, it's the trigonometry class. If you, ever, if you uh, paid attention in high school, I didn't. So I had to research it a little bit more as time passed. And, um, here we are, right? So the the answers here is like if you have the value and your offsets are zero, right? Your resulting your resulting millivolt value is going to stay zero, and the 120 millivolt value I get is basically the base the base value for the uh, sorry the base value for the G sensors. So if we go to internal pins, we click an internal lat and long, you see you ha you can have a zero you can zero it out here. Uh, you see your scale factor is 120 millivolts per G. And that's that's what comes from the factory with these with these uh, dashes. I would assume that's what needs to be needs to retain unless you start tilting axes. So what what I have here is I have a, a spreadsheet that I wrote. Basically, uh, take the reciprocal of the cosine, which is what we're going to be doing in order to find the values. So if you if you have zero and zero, you're fine. But if you let's say you had 15 degrees on one axis, well now your now your recommended millivolt per g value changed to 116. Right, because you have offset it by 15 degrees, which means when it's when it's moving, it's expecting to move this way, but you're moving it this way. So you have to offset and shorten that value in order for it to retain the g-force per millivolt. Um, I have it set up too, where you can do do uh, double axes. So if you tilt this way and tilt this way, well now you have skewed in two different directions, right? So you put yourself out out there a little bit further and it does offset the the value. Um this should uh this should help anybody that's wanting to get precise data from their G sensors. Um I know a lot of people don't look at it this critically. Um but if you're working at the highest level of motorsports, I expect information to be precise at all levels. So um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.